y'all I just have to let y'all know like because this is so cute I love how beautiful and natural and full this wig looks I'm so excited I feel like I laid it and slayed it and Welcome back to my channel, Tatiana Westco here, and today I'm giving you guys this full glam, my Thanksgiving glam, how I'm going to do my face tomorrow. It is like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'll have to get up really early to run to the grocery store to get the last minute things that I'm going to be cooking for for Thanksgiving. I'm kind of having a Friendsgiving kind of, but also family because all the younger cousins are coming together and like pitching in and like bringing their dish that they want to, just to kind of like exclude the adults. You know what I'm saying? We want to get rational at our time, but obviously I probably end up going to see my other family later on that night but we kind of want to have our own little vibe a little bit so um yeah why did I say all of this oh I told you I'm wearing this makeup look for tomorrow well today now but I hope you guys enjoy this video um I will be leaving all the links to everything in the description box below when it comes to this hair and all the makeup products will be listed below as well I prepped and planned for this video and I set everything out nicely so I won't be losing anything while I did this but yeah um I hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for watching and if you want to see how I got this look please continue and don't forget to turn on your post notifications thumbs up this video because it helps me a lot and also turn on oh I already said that and um subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel join the west coma family so let's begin so what i'm about to do is just go ahead and create this part in the front of my hairline on the lace wig just to get a more realistic effect i'm gonna go in after making the line and just start tweezing the little tiny hairs in between just so i can um kind of you know guide where I want my baby hairs to be and also where I want the gradient look to be behind that line so you see I'm speeding it up for you guys because I know y'all don't got time because this is a process this, this actually can take up an hour to 30 you know to um 30 to an hour to actually get a perfect look that you're going for so definitely take your time it is sped up don't think i you know went this fast because you can poke a hole in it you really do need some good tweezer man tweezers to get the job done or just some really good sharp tweezers if they're sharp you need to make sure you uh go slow just so you don't end up poking a hole or ripping your lace that's not cute trust me i've did it so many times you see that the knots are bleached. I actually had to go in and bleach these knots because um, they were pretty dark. I, be I bleached the hair twice to achieve this, you know, hue on it. And it wasn't as bad as it may look right now because when I put it on, it looks really realistic. Just because of the contrast of the dome head and the actual bleached knots, it kind of looks a little cray cray. But it looks very realistic as you can see in the beginning of the video. So, you know, just... Sit back, relax, turn a movie on, and just chill and sit in a comfy chair because that's what you're going to need when you're doing this process. So as you can see, the hair is laid and slayed with my Got To Be Glue. I just put a little wrap sheet around just to lay my hair down so the lace can melt into my skin as much as it can before I start cutting. I'm just going to part the hair. I don't really like a middle part, so I just try to put, put a center part, like close to a center part. It's obviously not smack in the middle. Um, you'll be able to see that, you know, either in the beginning or at the end when I'm doing my makeup. But I don't know, the middle part thing, like, it kind of got to be some type of off. Because if it's, like, too centered in the middle, it just looks janky. And that's just because of how I do my middle parts. I don't know, like, I've never been good at really parting my hair. Like, real hair, wigs, I just haven't been the best at doing that. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just using a little bit of water to just enhance this curl pattern. This is Julia's 24-inch Brazilian curly hair. Their information will be listed in the description box if you are interested. I'm just using a curly cream to enhance the curls also. And then I'm going to go in with um, this spray just to kind of, like fix the part a little bit so it can be a little bit more neater and that's just some regular black can hairspray that you can get from Walgreens or you can actually get it from your beauty supply store but before I do that I'm going to go in with a little serum just to add moisture and shine back into the hair because when once it dries you just want to have that luster and that shine look to curly hair I feel like it suits curly hair more than straight so I like adding a little bit of sheen on it or whatever 
so you know it can look all popping so i didn't show you guys that i put wrap lotion in the hair foaming wrap lotion in the hair also because um i thought i was filming but i guess i didn't um so what i'm going to use is a eyebrow shaper um to kind of cut my lace off and then i'm going to go in with some scissors when it gets to the point where i don't want to actually freaking stab myself with this razor just to kind of you know get the lace really tight and right you know what i'm saying you want it to not be visible but you still want it to be realistic so that's why i don't go in with scissors first if you see me going in with scissors it's really because i don't i don't have time but today i had time because today i had time so i'm basically just finessing it and getting it together so make sure you take your time on this too because you want it to look realistic you don't want it to be like a straight cut that's why you go in with the um the razor kind of, because the razor kind of makes it jagged and not so neat and that's that's what you want when you're cutting off lace. I'm just gonna use a little bit of alcohol and a baby wipe just to wipe the remaining of the hairspray off and just clean up anything that is around my hairline. And I do this a couple of times until like I you know, can tell that I got all the extra lace off. If not, you'll see me go back in with some scissors and just edit it and you know, fix it until it's to my liking, you know? You can add baby hairs if you want to. I like a really like slight baby hair swoop, you know, nothing too crazy. But this is the can hairspray that I was telling you about. It's just a little black, you know, a little black number. And then that's pretty much it. So let's get into this makeup. So that's what I'm doing, but it's a really nice stick. I feel like it suits women of color really good. I'm just gonna put it on my face like that because that primer water kind of made a girl real wet or whatever thing i'm excited about this wig y'all this wig is so cute like it's so cute the quality is really really nice so it will be listed in the description box below make sure you take advantage of the black friday sales because that's important you know i'll be trying to give you the sales or whatever um and the discount codes and things but this is a given because you know it's that season for the discounts and stuff so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, contour my face. I'm going to start my little contour lines and I'm using my Jueva. And this is really creamy. Sometimes I feel like it's too creamy because it gets so messy in the container. Let me know if it was me, if it's just me that feels that way. The Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS so I can get that look. And I like using foundation brushes now because it's just that season where I feel like they work the best. Um, and I have a little bit more patience around this time. So I'm just going to uh, buff my contour in first. Just so I can get the placement. I laid and slayed it. I did a really good job. I took my time. But it's really the hair quality that's making it look really good. Really, really good or whatever. Um, I'm just going to blend out my nose now with the same brush just because this brush if they had a mini version of this brush I would be very thankful for it because this brush is just meant for that flawless application that you're looking for and you notice that I don't really like putting a actual line on my jawline um, a lot of people do that if they're going for a more chiseled looking face. Sometimes I really forget to blend it out really good. So to avoid that, I just do not put it on there. And then I just um, use whatever is left from blending out the other parts. And I just take it to kind of give that shadow appearance down there from whatever is left over. Versus putting a harsh strip down there and then having to blend it out really, really good. So, I usually mix this one with my Lancome. This is my summer shade in this foundation. But because I have the new Kevin Aquan, I heard, well, the shade is really nice and light. So, I'm just going to go in with a warmer foundation. So, everything balances together. It's really easy to finesse the shade that's a little bit more warmer than your actual than your actual complexion versus working with something that's too light as a foundation all over your face because a light foundation just looks like you don't know what you're doing and you can look really deadly and you don't want that look unless you're going for that look all right so now that she's out the way i am going to go in with my new kevin Kwan. 
so excited about this, guys. Look at that. Brand new. Mm. It smells real. It smells like your grandma's perfume. I'm going to take my little brush. I heard a little bit goes a long way. So. I'm going to do it. So I'm pretty much placing it where I want her to go, and then I'm going to blend it out a lot more with my beauty blender. This is really pretty. The next thing I want to buy is a pat and breath setting powder. If you guys tried that before, let me know. But, so I'm just going to take my foundation brush and just go over the outside perimeter where I stopped blending the concealer at, just so I can get like a really nice blended look. So it's not so harsh and cut off and looking weird. And that you see down my nose is still from the Unnude Stick. I don't really like taking a lot of product on my nose, like down the center. Okay, I feel like it's unnecessary. Okay, so I'm going to just set my lower TA. I'm not going to mix it today with my, um, I'm not going to mix it with my Fit Me foundation powder. And that's because I don't want any more like warmth underneath just because you guys know I'm going to go a little lighter with my concealer shade. And this one is pretty golden, but I love the color against my skin complexion. So I'm kind of using the powder to kind of like lighten it up. All right, and now I'm going to close up this concealer. So tired of thinking about Tarte tape, so I'm really going to try something different. So moving on to face, I'm going to add a layer of powder on top of my foundation just so I can get like a full all this look or whatever. I'm going to set with my True Face Cappuccino powder. If you feel like your foundation is pretty warm, go in with a lighter powder just to help balance everything out because you don't want to add any more warmth to your look if you are not going for that look. And then I take it on top of this just to like mesh everything together because it was the dark shade and then the light shade, but there was no medium shade and I consider my foundation powder a medium shade. When it comes to dark light medium, I'm not saying I, I'm a medium shade. I know I'm wrong, so don't confuse that with that. I'm just saying, light medium dark. That helps give a gradient look versus patchy. So now what I'm going to do is take my Fenty because you guys know I like using my Fenty to cut my face just so I can get that look that I'm going for. Snatched face. I'm going to do it I'm going to move on to blush right now. I'm going to take something cheap because you know sometimes cheap blushes are the best. I feel like you can't do no wrong with blush. It can either be too pigmented or like not enough, but if you can back it on, you'll eventually see the color. But this elf blush is really nice. I like it because it has like a really nice shade to kind of help blend out anything that gets too crazy. This shade right here. And it really does work. I know you probably like, girl, it's not going to show up on you, but it just, like I said, it helps tone that other shade down if I get a little too crazy. And then now I'm just going to press this into my face, whatever is left, just because I like to make sure, once again, I mesh everything together versus like laying stuff on top and not blending it out. And I feel like doing this kind of blends everything together. That can be all in my head, but when I be taking my photos and looking in person, look at myself in the mirror, be looking good, so I'm sticking to it. So I'm using my girl Jackie Onions palette in a tutorial like this. I'm going to take ginger in my transition area. Now this is Nuts For You by Coastal Stains, and it's a brown kind of look. It's like a cool brown. I'm looking at Sponsored. But then I'm like, I know myself, and I just want to stick to something basic. I'm just going to take this Morphe shade that I was going to do in the first place. I just have to let y'all know like because this is so cute. I love how beautiful and natural and full this wig looks. I'm so excited. I feel like I laid it and slayed it. I feel like it looks even more flawless because I have a full beat on. And my thoughts about the Kevin Aquan concealer, I love it. After poking myself in the eye, I played myself in a little bit like smudged around here so I had to like fix it a little bit but I love how I'm able to set my Laura Mercier powder on top without having to mix it to get the appropriate shade just because of how golden this concealer is it just helps you know make everything neutral and flawless and I don't have to do too much mixing because of how golden that concealer is but I love the coverage I love how flawless it makes my under eyes look it's not heavy it's a really radiant natural look like the finish set it would be it's not matte and it's not heavy on the eyes so I love it sis it's a good look I would definitely pick up some more shades of this they have one more color the shade 11 and I would just use that like a, as a highlighter shade if I'm trying to go for that extra extra glam look um, I feel like it's really worth it so far so good I feel like if you are prone to creasing I will go in with a little bit of powder and then set the 
concealer right on top of that and then set it with powder a little bit more if you guys know how jackie Ina sets her um face a little bit just to like control the oils in her face i will kind of do that underneath the eyes just to kind of fill in your creasing and then apply your actual setting powder on top of it again just so you can cancel out any like creasing in the future or whatever but i feel like it's worth it so let me know your thoughts about everything if you guys enjoyed this look please don't forget to thumbs up comment subscribe happy thanksgiving if you guys are into thanksgiving be thankful and appreciative for all your loved ones friends and what you have and just come around and feast that's how i look at it but don't be in my comment section being extra but i love you guys take advantage of the sales that julia hair has you will definitely be seeing this wig again because it's just too fine and too flawless to just put it away and forget about it like this is definitely going to be my go-to and i'll probably style it just like this every time obviously not every time with the clips but i mean just how i put the wrap lotion and the leave-in conditioner you guys didn't see me actually put the wrap lotion in just because my camera battery was playing me like how it is about to right now so let me just wrap this up so i can do my intro i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye